not to fangirl right now like it's taking everything in me to just kind of like calm myself so it's so exciting to meet you thank you thank you thank you so is this thank you and is this your first time in toronto no no it's actually it's probably my fourth or fifth time here not performing but it's my first time in daisy fest as well so where was the first place you performed in toronto Ooh, that's i think the first time i performed was in brampton about about two years ago shout out to b-town brampton what what <laughs> So how was that first performance in Toronto? It was good. It was, uh, it was my first time here and, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun and it was inquisitive and Just Rain and everybody was there as well. So it was fun. So have you ever done work with Just Rain? Because, I mean, like, he's huge for us in Toronto. Of course. I mean, he's the homie, you know. So uh, me and him, like, we go way back even before the, the work we've done and the, we've did a few things together. And there's a lot more stuff coming up, too. So. That's really cool. And, like, your music is really unique because it's a really, really good combination of, like, South Asian music and American music. So what was your inspiration to kind of mix those two together? I think inspiration overall, uh, me spending half of my life in India and then half of my life here in America, uh, just kind of, like, grew up listening to both sides of the world so just kind of like musically I just wanted to combine that together you know and I feel like your fan base you probably have a lot of fans in both India and America so would you say that's right 
I think uh, what I like about my fans is like they're they're very they're they're like the new type of fan that they listen to Western music. Even in India, you know, when we did shows over there, they they're like they're not like your typical Punjabi or they're not typical Bollywood fans. They're the ones that listen to Taylor Swift or that listen to Chris Brown and J Justin Bieber and stuff. So uh, I and and they listen to Mickey Singh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which is really, really cool. So from your experience, is there one country that you've been to where you've had like the biggest fan base or like your favorite fan experience in one I of these think, countries? I think uh, obviously, you know, I gotta, I'm in, I'm in uh, Toronto right now. So Toronto's got a huge fan base. Uh, so I'm excited to see what happens today. Uh, but I think India was probably the second uh, best and obviously my hometown, US, you know, US holds it down for me every time. But uh, I think the biggest show I've done in my life was probably Times Square, about 100,000 people. So. Times Square? So when did you do Times Square? That was, uh, we did last year at the, the Indian, the Desi Mela over there in Times Square. So that was kind of like a deep dream come true. That's really, really, and 100,000 people, were you nervous? Like what was that experience like for you? I mean, I, I just look back at like what I really wanted because I used to live in New York. So uh, I used to always be in Times Square and be like, yo, one day I'm perform there so I think uh, that, that was the whole thrill about it so it was fun and your dream came true so that's amazing and uh, do you have any new music that you're working on that you would like fans to know about yeah definitely uh, I got a um our next single, me, Sonny Brown, and Fatih are doing together. And then I uh, got a few other records that we did for movies as well. So a lot of new stuff coming up by the end of the year. So it should be fun. So everyone has a lot of stuff to look forward to from you. And thank you so much for your time. I know that you have so many fans in Toronto. So you guys got to see here first. So do you want to say bye with me? Bye, guys. Bye, Toronto.